Refractive surgery is any surgery that changes the refractive error of the eye. And the refractive error of the eye means whether it's nearsighted or farsighted or has astigmatism, basically. So we're trying to achieve basically perfect vision without glasses. We do two types of laser vision correction surgery on the cornea. So that's LASIK and PRK, laser-assisted keratomalusis, which is, involves making a flap in the cornea and then reshaping the cornea. And then PRK, photorefractive keratectomy, which is just ablating the cornea to reshape it without the flap that you have in LASIK. LASIK is the most common refractive surgery worldwide. And we typically do LASIK in relatively younger people, younger meaning up to early 50s, in other words, up until the time you'd start to develop a cataract. In a referral practice, we, set, we tend to see people who are not necessarily LASIK candidates because they have thin corneas or irregular corneas. Typically with LASIK, on the first post-operative day, the vision will be slightly blurry. You'll be wearing some protective shields over the eye so that it will remind you not to rub your eyes because you don't want to move the flap. Um, and then you'll be giving yourself drops every hour or two uh, to keep the eye moist and also the medication drops. The advantage of doing LASIK is that you can see well the next day. It's minimal discomfort. In fact, sometimes you can see well almost right away. Uh, and certainly you can drive yourself to work uh, the next day. You can go back to work. You have about 80% of your vision on the first day and the subsequent 20% comes, uh, becomes clearer over the next subsequent days, weeks, and months after the surgery. So people have both eyes done at the same time and it's comfortable afterwards and uh, they can really return to their lives right away. With PRK, it's a little slower recovery time. It's a faster procedure, there's no flap, so you're doing the same thing minus the flap, um, but you're doing it on the surface and although they may have little discomfort the first day, they may wake up with some minor discomfort the second day. And that can range from minor to severe, or zero to severe discomfort. But typically we do give people medications to modulate that. And then their vision may not be quite as good as their LASIK counterparts in the first week or so, but after a month, again, they've caught up and their results are the same. I think it's important when you choose a surgeon to choose somebody who offers a an array of procedures in their refractive armamentarium. And again, it's because not every patient is a candidate for every procedure. And so we try to tailor that. We have different types of procedures for different types of patients. And not everybody's going to be a candidate for LASIK. And as well, since we're cornea trained, uh, we are able to fix problems if we have them or uh, problems of people who've been elsewhere and perhaps unfortunately had a complication from their surgeries. So that's something I think that is special about coming to the New England Eye Center at Tufts Medical Center because we do have a wide array of options. If you have broad expertise then, then you can really customize your treatment for the individual patient.